guys welcome back today i'll be showing you guys a hair tutorial and i'm gonna be showing you how i achieved this headband braided inspired type of look using ponytail so if you want to know how i did this go ahead and keep on watching all right so the first thing i'm going to go ahead and use is some baby oil now this is what i like to use personally on my daughter you can go you can go ahead and use whatever you like to use whatever you already use i'm just gonna go ahead and distribute the product all over her hair and then i'm just gonna go ahead and start brushing it out so i can distribute the product evenly and go ahead and untangle it then after that I'm just gonna go ahead and start sectioning it off her hair like this honestly depends on how long or short the hair is I like to do this I like to section it off all the way to like the tip of her head is I don't know what it's called I am really bad at this but I'm just gonna go ahead and make her section a little bit longer because she has really really short hair and so I can have a lot more hair so it can be a little bit thicker the braids can look a little bit thicker I'm sorry I, I hope I'm explaining this correctly if not you can see what I'm doing here now I'm just gonna go ahead and section off the front where the the braid is gonna go I'm sorry and then I'm gonna go ahead and tie off the rest of the hair so it won't get in the way So now you should be left with something that looks like this. I know it looks kind of weird, but again, her hair is tied up in the back so it doesn't get in the way. Now using a comb, a rat tail comb, however you want to call it, I'm going to go ahead and start sectioning off little squares where the ponytails are going to be. I'm first going to go ahead and start doing two ponytails, and then I'll show you what I do after that. So you should be left with something that looks like this two little ponytails now when you're gonna go now you're gonna go on to the third one now this is where it really starts to get a little bit more interesting just go ahead and make sure it's even and none of the hairs are getting out of place that's what I'm trying to do here her little hairs from the back because they're so thin and the back hairs are kind of long they tend to come to the front and as you can see she has a lot of little baby hairs in the front my little baby girl now again getting back to the thing before you tie it up you're gonna go back into your first ponytail just hold this and you're gonna split that in half like if you were like making it tight where you are tightening it up but now you're gonna bring get underneath the second ponytail I, I kind of covered it up with my hand but I'll show you again in the third in the next one but you pretty much just split it in half bring one half towards the front like underneath but towards the front and the other one in the back here I'll show you again right here again you're gonna go ahead and split that and make your little square for the ponytail again make sure it's well it doesn't have to be necessarily even but try to make it as even as possible so it doesn't look um, 
crooked at all. Oh my god, her little lips are so cute. By the way, this is my two-year-old daughter. Her name is Isamar. Now again, what? hold that. Before you tie it up, you're going to go into now what is the second ponytail. You're going to split that in half, tighten it, bring one. There we go. You're going to bring it underneath the third ponytail. Make sure... Try to make sure if they have little hairs or if you have little hairs that they don't get out of place. So try to work where the little hair, try to tighten it up where the little hair um, does not stick out. Uh, that's what I struggle with a lot here. And then now that you have that, you're going to go ahead and tighten it and make another ponytail. You're just going to go ahead and keep on going like that until you reach the end. And then I'll come back and explain that later. Now for me, this is a really simple, easy look that you can do. Um, I The reason why I decided to start off with this tutorial first for the hair tutorials that I'm going to be um, doing now is because this is the one that gets the most compliments when I started doing this. And that's why I, tried, I decided to make a video on it first. But I will, like I said, I'm going to start this little serious or like I'm going to start doing hair tutorials not only on my daughter but on myself as well because I do have long hair and I know everybody varies from short to long hair so I will show you different looks for short long hair at least from what I can do um, and then you guys can go ahead and let me know any hairstyles you would like to see or any uh, suggestions any tips or tricks you you know how to do because honestly I don't really do my hair a lot to be honest I just the main thing that I do is straighten it or curl it but I am trying to go ahead and start doing hair tutorials for you guys like there is some hairstyles that I do know so I will be showing you guys in the future but again it's a new series I'm going to start so I will be uploading hair tutorials as well as makeup looks so now we're reaching the end and I'm just gonna go ahead and keep doing this as you can see this is the last ponytail that I'm going to be making as you can see um, there is no more hair but this is what I'm going to do since this is like the last little ponytail that I have going on I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this little ponytail up here and just go ahead bring it down I'm gonna go ahead and cross it underneath and then I'm gonna go ahead and secure that with the hair tie as well. And 
that's pretty much it for the headband. Now I'm going to go ahead and let go of her hair in the back. Now this is optional. You can go ahead and apply, well I'm going to go ahead and brush out her hair first. And she has really thin hair and again she has a really small amount of hair. Now you can go ahead and apply, uh, use a little bow and, and put it on the side where the last little ponytail is. Like I'm doing here. And that looks really cute for little girls with like longer, thicker hair. But my daughter has really thin hair. So I decided I'm going to take it off. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up her hair in the back. And make that into a ponytail. And then I will be um, putting on the little bowl. So this is pretty much it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and liked it. Um, again, I will be doing hair tutorials more often, so go ahead and let me know any ideas you have for me for me to try and do. Um, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and share the video if you like as well, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.